Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a data source in Word on the fly for a merge document. When you do this, Word saves the addresses you create as a Microsoft database file. In the third pane of the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, Word asks you from where to select the mail merge recipients. If you select the Type a New List option in this task pane, and then click the Create Hyperlink that appears in the center of the pane, Word then opens the new Address List dialog box. You use this dialog box to add, edit, delete, find, and customize the data source records. Alternatively, you can also directly access this dialog box by clicking the Select Recipients button that appears in the Start Mail Merge button group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. Then choose the Type a New List command from the Buttons drop-down menu. To enter a new record into the data source, type the information into the first field and then press the Tab key on your keyboard to move to the next field. Continue entering information until you enter all the necessary data for the record. If necessary, you can then click the New Entry button to add a new blank record to the list. Then repeat this process until you have entered all the records to your data source. To delete a record from your data source, click into the record to delete within the data form. Then click the Delete Entry button. Then click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears to delete the selected record. To find records in the data source based on a field's value, Click the Find button to open the Find Entry dialog box. In this dialog box, type the value to find into the Find field. Then select the fields to search by selecting the desired option button, All Fields, or This field. If you select This field, then select one of the available fields from the drop-down menu to the right of the option. When ready, click the Find Next button to find the next data entry record that matches your criteria. You can continue doing this until you reach the end of your list. When finished using this dialog box, click the Cancel button to return to the data form. You can click the Customize Columns button to open the Customize Address List dialog box. This box lets you add, delete, rename, and reorganize the fields in the data source. To add a new field, click the Add button at the right side of the dialog box. In the Add Field dialog box, type a name for the new field into the text box, and then click the OK button to add it to the listing of fields. To delete a field in the Customize Address List dialog box, select the name of the field to delete from the listing of fields. Then click the Delete button to delete the selected field, and then click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears. To rename a field, select the field to rename from the list, and then click the Rename button. In the Rename Field dialog box that appears, type the new name for the field into the To field, and then click the OK button to rename the field and return to the Customize Address List dialog box. To change the order of the fields in the list, click the field whose position you wish to change. Then click either the Move Up or Move Down buttons to change its place in the list. When finished using the Customize Address List dialog box, click the OK button to apply your changes and return to the New Address List dialog box. After you finish using the New Address List dialog box, click the OK button. You can then save the address list into a desired folder by using the Save Address List dialog box that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.